Dana walks into this room and a man's just standing there. He's an eight foot tall man and he's 700 pounds. He has a giant jaw and a bulbous nose. What Daniel heck? tries to hold the conversation. Hi, what are you doing in here? He says, oh, hi. He walks up to Daniel, looks at Daniel. Daniel looks up at him. So, what what are you in for? Fernand the Giant bites Daniel's head off. Oh my god. Of course. Wow, no. Jesus. See what happens when you don't go to the slime room? Daniel loses a life. Joe, Hosa, Jay, and Steven, betraying Daniel, goes into the orange slime's room. You guys are about to have the best time of your life. Basically, you see this huge orange slime with eyes. Oh. Yes. And there is a note. Consistency is peanut butter, dog-like and playful nature. It will change the scent according to the person. It loves hugs. Aww. It makes a cooing noise. Touch 999 surface gives an instant euphoria. It is attracted to hurt, unhappy, depressed individuals. I hugged the shit out of this. Oh, God. <laughs> Can I we keep this, this as a pet too? Oh I want to keep God. this as a pet too. <laughs> it increases its surface area and hugs all of you at the same Aww. time. And you feel at ease and happy all at the same time as soon as you touch it. Oh. Each of you smell something okay. differently. Oh, can we just stay in this room? Some of you smell your favorite food or some of you smell like a, a childhood dream. Mmm, Hosa. I mean, <laughs> what? <laughs> Death and destruction. Uh, uh. I was thinking more like pizza, you know, laundry scent. I, I sniff myself. I, I don't smell anything. Yeah. Can we just stay here, Daniel? I, I would like to just stay here. This is just a nice room. Yeah, that's true. Daniel opens the door from the other exit. Come, let's go. I almost died. Oh okay. my God. <laughs> Not the pet! Oh, yeah, I I, uh, I threw the pet at the oh, man no. and I ran why, away. Why would you? Why would you do that? Oh. But it was either me or the pet. I, I nominate to sacrifice Dan. Let's go. What's that huge, ugly orange thing? Let's get out of here. Don't you insult him like that. <laughs> no, I punched Dan in the face. Ugh, what the fudge? <laughs> <laughs> what the fudge? I will name him Charlie. So you guys walk out all together with the orange slime and a bunch. Of, you guys have a lot of pets. Yeah. Come on, gee. There's two doors, but there doesn't seem to be any living creatures in there. One door is a cafeteria with a huge coffee vending machine. Another one is just, there's only a piece of paper in there. I'm pretty sure the paper is going to give us like a paper cut to death or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling a little hungry. Let's okay. let's go. I, I feel like I want some food. Does anyone go to the paper? I throw Dan <laughs> in the paper room. I have one life. I'm going to follow everybody. Oh no, what a shame. I, th I throw him back. Okay. I close the door on him after. How dare you, how dare you insult my great orange guy. And he threw his pet. I could handle one Steven, but <laughs> Chased even back to back. This is so difficult. <laughs> I'm gonna go into the cafeteria to eat something. I'm really wow. Hungry. Fine. Wait. Don't eat stuff here. That's obviously a trap. Wait. Yes, Daniel, eat and stuff. <laughs> All right, you go into the cafeteria, and there is a huge, almost ominous-looking vending machine. But this coffee machine doesn't seem to have any menu, only a keyboard. There's a note on there. It can produce any liquid you'd like. Anything that can be a liquid is able to be produced by typing the keyboard attached to the vending machine. Oh. Hostess love juice. Uh, uh, okay, no, thank you. Do you guys want to get anything on the vending machine? Pureed caviar. It dispenses this liquid version of a caviar. It's almost like it's been grinded into a fine liquid. Jay, it's gonna be so fishy and salty. Why would you even want that? <laughs> Do you guys get anything? I get chocolate milk. Chocolate milk dispenses. Yay. Anything else? Wait, universal poison antidote. Oh. It dispenses a weird black liquid. <laughs> Elixir of immortality. <laughs> Nothing comes out. <laughs> Nothing comes out. I want I want a vial of the potion seller's strongest potions. Nothing comes out. Uh, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, so the other room, the paper was blood sheet music. If the music sheet is looked at, any subject looking at it will attempt to complete the music sheet with their own blood. Oh. Once they complete a small part of the sheet, they will then kill themselves, often saying the piece was impossible to complete. This time, you see, you see two rooms. One room leads to a man just minding, really minding his own business. Oh, mm. oh he's a doctor. Another room just has like a... Is that a bell? A bell? All you see a is a bell. silver bell. Give us Wait, a bell? <gasps> Wait, is that the... S he won't tell us, Jay. If you want to be a zombie, go to the doctor. I want a butler. I'm taking the silver bell. Okay, okay. Kay. We already have enough pets. I don't think another would really do much. No, you don't understand. This butler is nigh immortal, okay? Oh, so, so we get our own Alfred? I'm pretty sure just based on looks alone, the first guy looks kind of sketchy. I'd like to go to the silver bell. The silver, silver bell. bell. Okay, I'll follow. You guys all go into this room with the silver bell. 
Nope, nothing happens. Uh, there's a note there. A well-dressed butler hey. calls himself Mr. Deed appears when wrong. Yes, Mr. Deed! <laughs> can do most menial tasks, can't complete larger and difficult tasks. He can be injured or killed, but fully recovers once out of sight. He can literally die for us, and then if we ring the bell again, he'll come back to life. Would you like me to do your service, sir? Oh, hi, Mr. Deed. But guys, we should really leave the stuff here, you know? It really isn't ours. This is a government facility. I slapped the Dan across <laughs> oh, the face. Do you require me to bitch slap Sir Daniel, sir? <laughs> what the <laughs> <break>? Yes! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> oh my... <laughs> Alright, there's two rooms. Both rooms lead to outside. One room has a farmhouse outside. Another room has a huge lake. Hmm. Let's go to the farmhouse. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's ask Alfred. I, I <laughs> ring the bell. Oh, Alfred! Alfred, which path do you think would be the safer one to take if we were to trying to survive? First of all, my name is Mr. Deed. And <laughs> <laughs> if you would like, sir, I can go in there for you. Wow, you sound so much different, Mr. Deed. I thought you had a British accent. Uh, that, that sounds like a good idea, Alfred. Why don't you go in there? Try the lake. He goes in the lake, <laughs> and after a while, he comes back, but he doesn't remember anything. Oh my well, god. Try the other one. There's one thing you have to remember about Mr. Mr. Deed is he can't remember what he does once he comes back. If he gets you a glass of lemonade, he can't remember where he got you that glass of lemonade. Mm. So he might have stolen it from a child? Yeah, he might have. Steven does not condone child stealing. Yeah, but he came okay. back. Came That's the thing. He didn't die. Even if he dies, he can still come back. Let's just go to the lake. I, I'm gonna go in the lake. Yeah, I don't I'm care. I'm in the lake. Fine then. Let's all go to the yeah, lake. lake. Once you get in, you see nothing at first. Soon you see floating corpses. You guys all see different things. You see people that you've known in your childhood. Oh, hey, it's Hollem. Oh, hey, it's Steven. Oh, hey, it's my dead parents. <laughs> Mrs. Dankworth, why are you here? And you notice them, you're tempted to go and touch these corpses. Why would I touch corpses that I didn't kill? Okay, oh, we have SCP-999, the orange slime. So another good thing about the orange slime is it will try to save humans as much as possible. Aww, it notices you. that you guys are trying to go into the lake and it snaps you out of it by giving you a dose of euphoria. Oh, okay. oh, oh, oh yeah, yes, orange euphoria. slime. <laughs> I am suddenly very uncomfortable. <laughs> Steven, oh God. <laughs> your pants. <laughs> me. What happened? You guys keep walking. It seemed like outside, but again, it was a fake outside. And you go back hey, in oh the my facilities. God. Oh my God, there's another two doors. <laughs> oh no. One door, <laughs> you hear people's voices. It says, hide, 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 hide. Don't let it come. Help! Another door. You don't hear anything. Hmm. Well, that's helpful. Don't go into the room with people. I go into the room with people. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. I go to the silent room. Ooh, ooh, Mr. Deed. Mr. Deed. I mean, Alfred. My name's Mr. Deed. Uh, no, your name's Alfred. Hey, Alfred. Oh, yes, sir. Can you give me, like... <laughs> I'm so defeated. Can you make me incredibly <laughs> camouflaged that I can fit into any environment? Of course, sir. Nice. And then he comes back with a bunch of camouflage clothing. I guess I'll, I'll put it on and then I go into the room with people. I ask for the same camouflage and I choose a room with people. But we have to be well, really, we just really ask, sneaky. Can you get us a phone? Actually, Wait. yeah. No, he's capable of <laughs> Yeah, people. what the heck? Oh. <laughs> Guys, I, I think we should stop relying on Mr. D so much <laughs> and just go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mr. D, get us perfect camouflage clothing. All right, you all get perfect camouflage. Camouflage. Oh my god, where'd everyone go? Imagine the animators if they just didn't draw anything. <laughs> <laughs> you open the door and you hear, Help! Oh my god, help! Do not respond, ever. Then silence. Yeah, we just all keep yeah, walking, Daniel. Just, we pull a Steven and <laughs> do nothing. <laughs> Steven, stop talking! From the dark, you see these amphibian-like looking creatures in packed. It doesn't have seem to have any eyes. Oh. Walk slowly, sneak around. The creature opens his mouth and you hear another voice. Please don't kill me. Oh. How long is this room? What the heck? Why aren't we out already? <laughs> I still gotta do the plot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but guys, by the way, I'm gonna have to do this. I'm sorry, you're gonna hate me for this. You <laughs> okay. all have camouflage, but your pets didn't. What? Oh, no, 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 they're on us. They're in my bra, they're in my boot. <laughs> <laughs> the amphibian sees the orange slime. Uh, no, not the orange slime. The no. It smells the orange slime. You can either throw it away or lose a life, Stephen. I will lose a life. <laughs> <laughs> the amphibian mauls Stephen and he loses a life. Good job, Stephen. You're you're awesome yeah. in my book. Uh, did the pet live? Yeah, the pet lived. I guess. Fine, whatever. <laughs> okay, Stephen. <laughs> no. He's back. I'm okay. I think the things that we do extend to our pets. They're an extension of our being at this point. You guys have a lot of pets okay at this okay. point yeah, have, you've like, just collected a bunch of scps as pets <laughs> and like, like what the fudge is this recording 
Okay, let's 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 end this. You guys have Mr. Deed, mm-hmm. yes. the orange slime, four one-eyed creatures. And I have chocolate milk. <laughs> in case anybody gets thirsty. <laughs> you escape the scary amphibians. And now there's only one door. The exit. Oh Yay. <gasps> no, this guys, is obviously a I trap. See the exit. You guys, it's been a long day of hard work. I'm ready for my paycheck. I think it's time for us to clock out, so I'm gonna go through the exit. <laughs> I wanna get out of here. My god, we've yeah. been here for like okay, hours. It's either going back through all that hell or go through this door anyway. Oh, let's let's be god. honest. Yeah, dude, let's get out of here, man. Daniel opens the door and from outside you see the sun shining and a, you hear a bunch of sirens. Oh, oh and oh. A, a group of people that look like soldiers are pointing their rifles at you. Oh sh- oh, oh I no. throw the Pets out yeah. of the way. Oh, no. <laughs> don't Please shoot. don't kill me. You who are covered in SCP-173's feces and blood <laughs> and a bunch what? of other SCPs are there as well. They don't think you are human. Do not trust them. Open fire. No. Don't shoot. Oh, no. I'm human. Wait, who still has two lives? Uh, Jay and Joe has okay. two lives. <laughs> no. So I guess I shoot Jay uh, and Joe again. I mean, the, the soldiers shoot twice. Jay and Joe again. I shoot Jay and Joe again. I do another Street Fighter death. <laughs> 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 <laughs>